on the fourth side of the square, the Cathedral of the Annunciation, with grey cupolas, a very interesting sort of shell come fan effects at the top of the building. This was the burial place of the Tsars and Princes of Russia. Obviously posed, but not entirely for us. Which is the, the daughter? Do you know? In the blue coat there, our lovely, charming Moscow guide, Luba. Across the entranceway, very classical in style, of the Pushkin Museum of Fine Art, built in 1912 to house Moscow's collection of paintings, um, of Western art, that's to say Italian, Dutch, French and so on. It also contains plaster casts of internationally famous sculptures. The museum has a very impressive collection of impressionists and this is only one of several early Picattos. One of several glorious Matisses. It's difficult to know what to say about this gallery. It's so astonishing. But on the whole, we thought yes, too. And here are some people you might recognize. That we took when we first arrived in Moscow from the river to the Kremlin. Yeah. Now from the Kremlin we're looking down on the Moscow River. And the embankment. And to one of the 20 Kremlin towers and gates. And the yellow and white building, the Armory Museum, which we're about to visit in a few moments' time. As its name suggests, it does contain armaments, but also a good collection of crown jewels, costumes, paintings, and so on. And back to the Cathedral of the Annunciation. central chapel in St. Basil's Cathedral, built in the 16th century. It has in fact nine chapels, not 15, as I said previously, with apologies. It's incredibly high. The walls are mainly of red brick, as is the floor in some places. It's of octagonal shape. An example of the wall painting in St. Basil's Cathedral. Part of the iconostasis in the Trinity Chapel of St. Basil's Cathedral. Up a flight of stairs onto a, what I can only describe as a sort of side entrance of St. Basil's, showing the doorways, brick pillars and wall paintings. So working from the inside out, this is the incredibly fascinating exterior of St. Basil's Cathedral. I can't even count the number of onion-shaped domes, all differently coloured. And as we've said, the interior contains nine separate small chapels, each differently decorated, very elaborate iconostasis, and wall paintings, many of which are just abstract flower designs. 
Here you see an example of Soviet realistic art. This is uh, collective farm worker and woman, or w <laughs> farm worker and collective woman, I forget which, <laughs> and in the front of the Museum of Economic Achievement, which is a massive sort of spread of, uh, okay, uh oh, here goes the film. So we'll see you when we get back to London, and now we say, Dos Vidania. Say Dos Vidania. Goodbye from Sputnik.